to another episode of Inspiring Youth. I'm your host, Bruce Elridge, and this is the show where we showcase ambitious youth and our community partners who work with them. And we are going to talk about mental health today. Uh, mental health is something that we all deal with, whether it's someone in your family, somebody you know, or maybe just something that you've heard in the community. Nelson Youth Centers is a place where you can go and find information uh, on mental health. Maybe you need some help, you need uh, a place for your young person to go then Nelson Youth Centers is a, is a wonderful place to go. They're located in Burlington, Ontario on New Street and they offer a variety of services for all ages from uh, people who are young at the age of five and six all the way up into teens and, and more. So we're going to take a look at Nelson Youth Centers today and find out some of the services that they offer. So I have, a, and, I have Jill here and we are at the Nelson Youth Centers. How are we doing today? We're doing great. The sun is shining and all is right with the world. That that's all it takes is the sun is shining. Awesome. We, we're gonna have a good light there. So so tell. I, I understand that you are, are one of the first people that usually people will talk to when they come in the center. Tell us what your job is. I am. I'm one of the managers here, but one of the most roles I'm most proud to serve is I'm kind of that initial intake person. So when a family's referred to Nelson Youth Center, I take that first phone call and the child and their parents come in to see me for their first visit and I get to introduce them to our center and what I love seeing is sometimes I see them walk across that parking lot and the kid is getting all tense yeah, yeah that'd be me that would be me too <laughs> and then immediately when they walk in the door and I just say to the child welcome and they look around and they see that this is a home-like environment and I ask them why do you think you're here and they're always like because of what I did and I said I don't care what you did yeah. and I'm not even gonna ask that's right, that's right. like you're here because I hear from your parents or your school that sometimes it doesn't feel good to be you stream so that's my interest I want to work with children and families and I live in Oakville so when I graduate I want to work um, in my community and Nelson Youth Centers is very highly regarded so I thought this would be a good place to come to just kind of learn from the experts. Do you get to choose your placement like where you'd want to go or you have to apply? Yeah and you apply. You apply um, for Nelson Youth Center. Um, it was a competitive um, offering before because we have a system that we go through. But I actually applied and I met with Julia ahead of time, so I got to meet her and I really liked her. So yeah. How about you, Michael? What got you into this? Other than somebody told you I was coming by today. <laughs> Which is usually how it works. <laughs> oh well, well, um, I got here and I was told you're here. So I'm like, <laughs> yeah. wow. Okay. See, see, if they tell you ahead of time you don't show up for work, <laughs> you're to so this is why. It's important. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I'm glad I'm here. Yeah. I love working here, especially working with the kids. Yeah. Um, during my entire college career which, where I studied uh, uh, social service work, right. that's at Sheridan College. I've been working with seniors, okay. so this is my first time working with kids and I love it. And I'm so glad I'm, I'm doing that at Nelson Youth Center. What's better, seniors or the kids? <laughs> Um, it's it's no, two it's soon. two different <laughs> thing. It's two different thing, yeah, you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's All right. So I'm uh, I'm here with uh, Cindy McClure, and we're at Nelson Youth Center. How are we doing today, Cindy? Oh, we're doing good. good. I'm doing good. <laughs> so so what is your role here? You're in charge of the place. Uh, tech, what's your technical role? Okay, I'm the executive director here at Nelson, and I've been here since uh, for 16 years. Okay. And so I kind of oversee the programming and just to make sure all the things are good together. Yep. Other things I do is I do grant proposals and okay. fundraising and participate in that and then you know the administrative stuff uh, to make sure people get their pays and you know all those. The things. important stuff keeping the doors open and all that. Uh, what, what got you into this area? Have you been trained in this? Did you always work with youth? Well I've actually been working in children's mental health 30 years 30 plus years. I don't go into the plus yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Always 29. Yeah, always 29, <laughs> exactly. No, and I and uh, I have a passion for children and children's mental health because I think it's such an important part of our community. And one of the things we're doing now is um, we're really advocating because children's mental health has really been put on the back burner for a long, long time. Too long. There's not enough dollars. It's not like a broken leg that you can see the results. And we know the earlier you get to kids, 
the more effective we're going to be with kids and you know giving families op, um, options for their kids and what we do is we build on skill set so we're not saying we kids come in and we fix them we don't fix them we give them a different uh, additional skills yeah. and we give parent their skills and so our hope is they won't have to go into deeper services right. and so that's really and and I just think if kids are our future and if we don't take care of the kids now, you know, the future doesn't look very bright for them. Right. And right. we do know that um, a, a large number of kids that are in the correctional system had a mental health issue when they were younger that never got addressed. Now, what, what's considered, you know, when we say mental health, that's a broad spectrum, right? And I know in my day, you know, when I was younger, someone who had mental health was either, you know, suicidal or like on, on the, the far end of it, right? But today it's not that way. If you're even feeling down, that's considered mental health. And a lot of us are. So where does someone look for a place like this? Like at what point should they be starting to think about? Okay, so when that mental health becomes a challenge, so all kids go through the days where they hate themselves, bad hair days. That's yeah, that's the teenage years. And, you know, kids will often not feel good about themselves and for the most part uh, parents can address it. It's when the issues become uh, so stuck that starts impact on their school and their academic. It impacts on their ability to be out, out in the community. It impacts on at home where they're so unhappy and they can't get past it on their own and the parents need those resources that say you know we need to address it now. So we don't want to wait till a child is suicidal and ends their life because more and more younger kids are, are ending their lives or successfully completing suicide. And the statistics are scary, you know. So those are the, so we want to um, get the message out to parents when, if you think, you know, there's something and even if you're overly concerned, talk to somebody. Right, right. And, you know, that just that talk may be enough to say, oh, yeah, I'm going to do this. Right, right. Or we say, check this out, get the assessment, and find out what it is they need. Um,